Hi there, and welcome to another episode of the Astartes Anonymous podcast. Today, we're bringing you a very special episode with Chrono the Harlequin, aka Live at the Black Library, <laughs> where we are going to sit down and have a little bit of a flap about some of the goofiest models Games Workshop has ever produced. Now, this is an opinion piece, so uh, don't take it too seriously. So I have once again been joined by a big man with big shoulders, and a little man with big shoulders, and a cheeky <laughs> Harlequin. I'm your host, Tom, and these are my co-hosts. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. My name is Lucas, or better known as Moots. Hello, I am Aaron. I'm the big man. Don't get it twisted. Fuck Moots. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a face for radio. Hi, I'm Chrono the Harlequin, and you might know me from such videos as Theory That Was Wrong, Theory That Was Wrong, and Theory Video You Didn't Watch That Was Actually Right. <laughs> <laughs> that do be the landscape though, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's Listen. a demographic, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an awful track record. <laughs> so how are we all feeling today, gentlemen? Sweaty. Oh boy. Uh, Sweaty. Really feeling all right. Feeling all right. The temperature is starting to rise, but it's also cooling off in general over here. Started a new semester at university recently. Um Excellent. one of the last years of my journalism program. Nice. Ooh. I got a haircut, and I'm feeling nice. <laughs> handsome. Nice. Very handsome. Very good. Very good. And all of the muscles in my body are aching. I could barely walk this morning. That was nice. What, why? <laughs> oh, I did the uh, squats for uh, one and a half hour. Ah, yes. Oh, the you Tom Platt crazy <laughs> bastard. You crazy bastard. <laughs> right. A, a little thing for the audience. Uh... Chrono's house is currently being invaded by none other than the Skaven. <laughs> so if Chrono, if Chrono disappears halfway through this video, then we know that the rats have got him. Is that all right, Chrono? We, we need to get this out as my, as my basically my last will and testament uh, before the rats take me. It's that classic sci-fi trope of the doors are being banged. It's like that scene in the Mines of Moria. Drums in the deep. You cannot get out. But it's just me just bullshitting online. Of course. It's like, course. we have to escape now, my lord. The rats are upon us. Yeah, I know, but I just got to post this once. This one's going to be a banger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Oh, I'm going out oh. big. <laughs> and and if uh, he goes quiet for a second, it's because he's currently in the process of fighting back the rats that are trying to eat him. <laughs> <laughs> the rats. Oh, how, how is it fighting the rats? Is it okay or is it difficult? Well, you know what? The trick is peanut butter. And I oh. think where you're going to put the peanut butter depends heavily on how you feel about the rats. Don't but get it on that your is pants. sort of the key. <laughs> Don't get on your pants. Tactical. Tactical. <laughs> Don't get on your pants. It could be bad. <laughs> Tactical oh. peanut butter. Or good, depending on what you like. But you know. uh, uh, Moot, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that's the... <laughs> Moot, you're allergic, you're allergic to peanuts, all right? But out. Oh, God. What? Since when? <laughs> I love peanuts. <laughs> I eat peanut butter all the time. It shrinks Same. you, man. It shrinks me. What the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, for our models of the week, uh, Moots has brought forward this wonderful, wonderful angry marine. Who's done this, Moots? Oh, this was... Uh, sorry, let me uh, dig this up. It is... Uh, Censored Respecter. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's the... Sen oh, no. I can't... I, we can't say his name. No. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. this this guy joined our server like the other day. And she made Discord, <laughs> posted some masterful fucking work, but with one of the most god awful Xbox gamer tag names known to man. Yeah. And personally, I love him for it. Um, he's a really chill guy. I've talked to him a bit. Respect. Oh. The highlighting on this is great, and you can see mm. the little yeah. detail of how he has a kill tally on the side of his helmet. Yeah, <laughs> got a little like tally mark, and also it just says whore on the base. No, it's Horus. It's Horus. It's oh, Horus. <laughs> also, um, I think I just had a, a bit of karma because I was walking back to my computer chair after checking the door to make sure it was still locked. And um, I stepped on the wheelie part of the chair and basically just pulled my crotch because it wheeled oh. away underneath oh. me. Oh, what a rip. Oh. I tell you, that was Horus. Horus did that. Why would, Hor <laughs> Why would Horus do this? <laughs> he's an angry marine. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't tell what he's doing. Anyway, so for our second model of the week, real quick, uh, Aaron has suggested this wonderful, wonderful Chitin Ravager done by Xander the Traveler. We featured Xander boy. as one, one of our models of the week before when Xander made this 
excellent Chaos uh, World Eaters Chaos Lord Kitbash. Mm. And he's been working on this for a couple of weeks now, and it's really great to finally start seeing it come to fruition. I was about to say, yeah, he's been working really hard on this. It's been a very back and forth process for him, but it's looking fucking gnarly. Yeah, that thing looks crazy. phenomenal. Yeah, I thought it was mm. a Lord of Skulls for a second there, or I, it's a kit bash, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah. So, so part of it, part of it would be a Lord of Skulls, but no, 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 it's not. Looks- it's not. You can buy it. No, the Kaiten Ravager is its own thing. It's oh, just really? the, the yeah. upper torso that's plastic is the same plastic that's used in the Lord of Skulls. Oh, the, I see. The legs and the... I think just the legs are the part of the resin that you buy when you buy the Kitan Ravenger. The work he's done on the chains, the detailing on the chains is excellent. Because yeah, those can yes. be fucking hard, but he went all in. Damn. This is this thing looks, looks great. And it looks so yeah. dirty and worn. I, I massively appreciate people who can paint wear and tear properly and battle damage because that is hard. Mm-hmm. Like people Absolutely. who really good paint Death Guard, like that's next level. Uh, Absolutely no. agrees. He's a talented boy. We're Absolutely. lucky to have him. Shall we move on to our main segment for this episode, gentlemen? Yes. Indeedly. So just as a quick reminder, today we wanted to take a look at some of the goofiest models in our opinion, or our separate opinions. It's certainly not a unified opinion that <laughs> our beloved Games Workshop has produced over the last three and a half decades. And so I'd like to kick things off with uh, some of Chrono's suggestions. And our first one up is... The, the very obvious and the very well-deserving Grey Knight uh, Baby Carrier, a.k.a. is it, the, is it called it like a uh, Knight Nemesis or ne- something nemesis, like that? The Nemesis Dread Knight, that's what it is. Nemesis Dread Knight, nemesis. that's the one. <laughs> Come on, Krona, why have you given us the Nemesis Dread Knight? Let's well, pretend see- that we don't all think this is goofy already. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's sell us on food and water. Okay, so the thing with this is the only reason anyone knows this model is from TTS because they decided to make fun of it because it's the (laughs) stupidest looking thing like it is indeed people will rag on other ones for saying oh why do you have that it offers no extra protection you're such a visible target the extra protection makes this look stupider it literally has these bars (laughs) that come down on the top like a roller coaster or the baby carrier like a baby car seat it's like a giant pair of, it's like a giant diaper he's in as well like a giant metal diaper you can see around the front of his front (laughs) plate <laughs> it's a diaper. This is Titan. <laughs> Poor Bro, guy. Literally Dumb. the boss baby for real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. He's just like me. You know something really funny about this model that's been true for like the last couple of editions of 40k? Mm. It has consistently been one of the best Grey Knight models to use. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah this thing actually doinks. Like, I this is so hard. strong. Doesn't it deep strike or some shit? Doesn't it have some like ludicrous like stealth abilities for some reason? I think you can teleport it out. I think it can like it can do the thing like the um, uh, Calidus Assassin can, where like it can in your movement phase you can bring it off the board and bring it back on again. Don't quote me on that though, Grey Knight players. It used I don't to actually, actually know. be. I think it used to be more broken because don't quote me on this because I don't play tabletop. But I think it used to have the towering keyword as well, which would make it busted as fuck because it could effectively <laughs> ignore, ignore cover. <laughs> yeah, I, I've actually hmm. seen a conversion of the Sisters of Battle version of this. Which I forget Not what it's dumb. called, but there is a Sisters of Battle version. Um, <laughs> and they replaced the faceplate of the Sister of Battle, or where the Sister is, with the sort of death mask coffin that you get in Penitent Engines, and it actually looked awesome. Oh, but, shit. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Mm. but as it, And it's also... Look at the little the little joysticks he's carrying. <laughs> oh, it's, it it's would look so better. Odd. He's it a would pro gamer. Be- <laughs> it would look better if the actual <laughs> hands were not hands, but were instead weapons themselves. Like you know how yeah, they have that yeah. crusher fist on centurion suits, or like a <laughs> yeah. chain blade, but instead it's just got these hands in conjunction with his smaller hands that are there. I like it's you know when the military talks about recruiting gamers. This is the final form right here, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like it wouldn't be so bad if it were for some design choices, as we've already mm. mentioned. There's the fist, but then there's the if we just remove the giant fucking mechanical bits that goes like from its back over its shoulders and uh, into its arms. Like it, it just makes the silhouette of it so wacky is so dumb or well it's like it's not enough wacky stuff about it but you know what i mean it's it's, I, I was gonna say yeah. that it seems like they didn't know what they were going for did they want it to look sleek and very high grade like all gray knight gear should or do they want to yeah. look like it more utilitarian and technical 
because exactly. it has those giant metal pistons on the back that don't really seem to serve that much purpose. And it no. also has a tilting <laughs> shield that's not on a shoulder. <laughs> you know what a tilting yeah. shield is for, right? Like, a til like, do they know what a tilting shield is for? It's so that, like, your lance, or in this case your bolter, won't ram into your shoulder joint every time you kick it off. But there's no oh. gun you can press up against that. <laughs> To be fair, I think out of all the things we can criticize Warhammer 40k models, I think we can just about give this a pass based on the sheer volume of uh, stupid shit that goes... Uh, not not the model, but the tilt shield. Just okay. like because of the sheer amount of goofy shit that goes on stuff purely for aesthetics. I mean, Imperial Knights have tilt shields for some bizarre reason in the same kind of spot. <laughs> I mean, I think they double as like heraldry sort of things. They're not there for like decorative for, like nobility uh, yeah. purpose. Um, but I have I have a funny story about this thing. Yeah. When I was originally getting into 40k, one I was debating between Grey Knights and Tyranids, and one of the things that me towards the Grey Knights was this model. And I was sat there talking to some <laughs> of the regulars at my local game store that I wasn't mates with yet. I was like, oh, that thing looks quite cool. What do you think of that? And about three of them, like that Pepe falling over with a tray thing, decided to start <laughs> ripping into me for my choice of just going, no, nah, man, that, that thing looks like dog shit. It's a baby cow. It's wearing a nappy. Fuck that. Get some Chewians instead. And I was just sat there like, oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. I, and I want the it cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, just... I, also, I also just noticed that it says Titan on its diaper, which is just extra funny to me. Yeah, I said as much when it first came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to our second our second goofy model suggested by Chrono. Now, this model, ladies and gentlemen, is a very popular model. I love it so much. I want you to know this is Chrono's pick. You have to you have to understand that because I'm sure he's got his reasons, and we're all going to hear them. And that is and that is the Leviathan Dreadnought. Chrono, please explain to us why we are now criticizing the Leviathan Dreadnought. Okay, fuck you, this is the popularity contest. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you for that, man. You could say, oh man, here's a Leviathan Dread. I want to hear his unique take on it. And instead you're like, man, people are going to be angry about this, aren't you, people? Look at him over I'm there. I'm angry about it. I'm angry about it. I, I, I love you, the dick. I love the you Leviathan dick. Dreadnought. You haven't even heard a word I said. All right, all right. This is a witch hunt. Let's, let's do him the honor of, of having his say. Uh, Floor is yours. Here's the thing. It looks awesome. I love the very wide silhouette of it. And the really powerful stance. I think it looks a lot better than the new Primaris Dreadnought. Well, everybody calls it the Primaris Dreadnought. It looks really good. Yeah. Except for one little thing. Okay. You see that little helmet in there? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Like, the thing about Leviathan Dreadnoughts is in lore, these things are enormous. They're bigger than Primarchs. But yeah. The, the, you can't really tell that when it's just the model. So it looks like there's a guy with a tiny little head in there. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the, the the armor brim comes all the way up to the eyes, so he oh, looks like, like a, he's a just tiny peeking little, over it. Yeah. Looks like a tiny little toddler steering, peering over his steering wheel. It looks like there's a little teeny tiny little guy in there, and the little helmet's just in there, just like wee. <laughs> it looks like a little guy. It's oh. with like patterns of dreadnought, like the one that Rylanor had or Bombastus had. That's a yeah. little different, the but this one yeah. is. This one, it just, it's so encompassed by the giant round bulk and mm. like the, the little cover. Like, this is literally like another kind of baby carrier. <laughs> you know, the, <sighs> the, the way you described that, maybe think of that fucking bonjour polar bear thing where his head is just poking through the hole, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the only thing that came to mind. And I'm so fucking angry, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> because now you can't unsee it, and I've killed the model for you. <laughs> There's a little guy in there that if you open it up, it's just like a, a, like a head and just a little body, and he's just going to run away. He's just ratatouing. <laughs> the fucking thing. Oh my god. And I have killed the model uh, for uh, everyone. Fuck yeah, you, Chad. I thought you were cool, man. I, I thought you were cool. <laughs> I uh, I have done nothing to give you that impression that I'm cool. You should know better. <laughs> so at, at, at a certain point, it's on you. Look to just not... Good, my boy. I think Krona's criticisms are somewhat justified. I still believe the Leviathan Dreadnought is my favorite Dreadnought. Oh, for sure. In fact, actually, I'd go as far to say that your criticisms whilst genuine, true, and holding relevance, have only added to its character for me, because now it's just a little guy. <laughs> it's just a little guy. <laughs> it's just a little guy. <laughs> Big chef, little oh. chef vibes, man. What's this, chef, uh, what's this next one you've given us, Chrono? Is this an old-school Eldari walker? Oh, yeah, I added some old hammer in here. 
This is a second God. edition Alitalk Walker, and uh, d d this fucking thing. First off, why does it have Jesus hooves? Christ. Second, it's got those backwards bending <laughs> flamingo legs, and I, I love the fact that center, like. The literal center mass is a completely unexposed pilot. Like, we were making fun of the Nemesis <laughs> Dread Knight. Yeah. This is so much worse. <laughs> yeah. This is so much worse for that. That's, yeah, that's there is point. literally a cone of fire leading right to the guy. And you I'm cannot not. defend yourself. You cannot defend yourself against what's right in front of you because the guns are so widely spaced apart. You just need to rush the thing straight on and you can easily kill the guy. <laughs> You see, this is just Eldari life speedrun is what it is. It's just, <laughs> you sit one down, send him out, and see how long he makes it. It's, uh, <laughs> they like they probably put the mats on him, they're like, yeah, like, fucking. There is no protection whatsoever, and I no. can see no feasible reason why this is a thing. Like, other Eldari vehicles, like D-Cannons, have a blast screen, but this yeah. does it for some reason. Mm. Which is weird, <laughs> because Wraithbone is has better stopping power as armor than Ceramite and yeah. is like a hundred times lighter. So there's no good reason to not have it, but the guy's literally just there with his balls hanging out. I don't know why. <laughs> Any percent soul gem run. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, did you know that you can actually keep the engine of your walker safe by body blocking bullets? <laughs> <laughs> it is worth more than you are. You are expendable. Body, yeah. <laughs> you are expendable. This machine is not that what uh, the guardsman logic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you yeah, die the so the machine will live. Oh my god. There's you know so what this reminds me of? It, rem it reminds me of that one meme of like it's like the British tank development meme. Sir, the 17 pounder won't fit. Put it in sideways. The radio won't fit. Got a hole in the back and have a stick out the back. The engine's no good. Get five car engines and put them together. <laughs> this is that. Like, they just stitched... This stitched every piece of crap they had and just sent it out onto the field with someone nobody would miss. See, If, if you I, get volunteered to pilot this thing, you know you don't have friends on the craft world. <laughs> <laughs> the craft world wild for this one, for real. They put this criminals is on these things. I talk to. Yeah, definitely. Th this is this is the Eldari penitent engine, is what it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. The engine of but, woes. Uh, see, <laughs> but uh, see, here's my here's my fucking fear about this thing. I think this thing is literally just made out of spare bits that the Eldari had lying around, and they just put it together into something, and they're like. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, when you look at those weapons of World War II that they made out of absolute necessity, like the stamped sheet metal, that's what this yeah. is. Like, yeah, except exactly, or like, or like in, in when Imperial Japan was collapsing and they would make shit out of like, like a like a metal tube and a piece of and a chair leg. This is that. <laughs> that's what this is. This is the last <laughs> attempt. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't that how you build things? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it's quite interesting because we're sitting here taking the piss out of this and we've all come forward with models for this episode, like really goofy things. But the next model I'm about to put on screen is the goofiest model I have ever seen. I've never seen it before <laughs> until today. And I honestly think we can stop the episode after this one. It is <laughs> it, no, I've never seen this before. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the... Uh, Harlequin Dreadnought. Oh. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing. This is what they're going to put my ass in after I get cancelled. Humanity, this fucking thing. <laughs> they're going to put my ass in this when I when my channel dies. <laughs> oh my god, Roots is dying. This Again, is so cursed. horrendous. I've, I have never seen this thing before it's, either. And it's it, real. It's, just, it's real. <sighs> this is like second the, or third it, edition. Just make the thumbnail for this. Just this with a fucking Pepe face. And now we have a I'll be happy with that. <laughs> Please. Oh my God. Oh, it's so goofy. Oh. I don't even know what to say. It speaks for itself. It's yes, so it's dumb. A, it's already six feet under. There's nothing I more like we can do. I like the addition of four arms. I, I do think the four arms is cool. And the, the large, um, like, the large, um, cannon. I forget what that is. I'm, it doesn't, I don't think it's a shuriken cannon. Because it looks like it has, like, a, a plasma core in there. Yeah. But, like, Eldar weapons were weird as shit back then. But, mm. like, the main centerpiece, it looks basically almost like um, like a prototype of like a Wraith Knight or something, mm, but with yeah. four arms, of course. It's just a giant face in the middle. 
And <laughs> thematically, you could understand why that's there, but holy shit. Could you imagine <laughs> if um, modern miniature at games workshop but modern miniature design philosophy didn't actually evolve over the last 30 years but (laughs) sales and and scale continue to both increase and fast forward to today we could have had a a warhound titan size or a warlord titan size one of these fucking things being sold on forge world (laughs) yeah the good just like the other yeah just like the other eldari titans that would have been so (laughs) terrifying you put this up in a fucking cabinet and you scare children that come around man you scare you scare your family's kids like the mask from courage cowardly dog just ooga booga booga (laughs) this thing would be busted as shit Here's the thing. I feel like we would need this because Harlequins, I think, have the smallest model range of any faction. And I think they're, 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 it seems like GW is in the process of eliminating them as their own faction, honestly, and sort of just folding them into as supplement for Craftworld and Drukhari. Ugh. It seems like that. The more of a Yanari thing, I think, aren't they? It, it's, this um, huh? The more of like a Yanari thing, aren't they? Rather than like Craftworld. Kind of, because nobody plays Yanari anymore. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I forgot true. about the Yanari. It's like, because El- Harlequin um, Eldar have the Harlequin troops, yeah. they have Death Jesters, Shadow Seers, which is what my little avatar is, it's a Shadow Seer, um, Troop Masters, and Solitaires. Don't so they have got the two like, vehicles as well? Don't they have two Harlequin unique um, riders too, right? Um, mm. They've got three, but they're all basically variations of the same thing. Star Weaver, Void Weaver, and um, just regular Jet Bike. Oh, okay. Like a Void Weaver is troops. No, I think uh, I think a Star Weaver or a Void Weaver is troop, and the other one is like um, more like fast attack. And then just a jet bike is just a jet bike. Yeah. But mm-hmm. that being said, like there's three vehicles which are all functionally the same, and um, four distinct characters, and then just standard troops. It's like the yeah. smallest model range by a mile. Well, it's quite funny because we were I, I I don't know who I was with. I think it was with Aaron or Moots who were looking at that exact same thing. It's kind of crazy to think that. Because uh, the leagues of Votan, they have, I want to say, seven or eight unique models, maybe more. Definitely more if you count in the different calls, but you probably shouldn't. Mm. And imagine that a faction that's over 30 years old is barely outcompeting the Votan for models. Yeah. yeah. That's a sad one. Yeah. It's yeah. rough. Like, it's funny, though, because I. I could totally see this thing have a cool design. I, I like if you reworked Im- it. Yeah, Im- yeah. Im- imagine that the head or the the fa- uh, head, I suppose, the torso uh, head. W- yeah, would <laughs> you know design it like it would actually be a torso, and then you put the because the head, the shape of it kind of form into a natural upper body, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, and then you put a head where in in that little V there and. You know, you bulk it up a bit, you give it a bit of girth, and I think it will look cool. It's it's not so far away from actually looking like really nice. It's, it's just mm. on the real side of cursed. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I, I, I realized <laughs> you're looking at this thing. It's sort of like the pre-evolution of like a wraith lord. If yeah. you see yeah, that, that's, yeah. there there's actually conversions of wraith lords with harlequin themes, and they look absolutely killer. Yeah, like, you can find mm-hmm. those online. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm curious, knowing old school models, how much do one of these go for? Do you know, like a I million no fucking idea. doubloons or something? Because I couldn't oh, remember what I was looking just now. <laughs> I couldn't even fathom a guess, mate. That's got to be. I mean, it's made out of metal, right? So you could throw this at someone and put injure them badly. <laughs> you would have to trade one of these for like two stocks in the South Seas Company. I tell you. Yeah, I can believe that. <laughs> in South Sea. Anyways, so... gentlemen, shall we have a look at Chrono's final suggestion now? Ah, there's been some contention about this. I know Aaron's probably going to agree with you on some of this a little bit as well. We are looking at the 2023 redone Termagorns. Now, specifically, uh, the picture that Chrono's given me is the the three with the different weapon variations. And I really want to open this segment by just saying, Because there is no cock like horse cock. Send your <laughs> asshole into shock as I said horse cock. Horse there cock. Is... Rub oh my, my dick goodness. inside a sock. <laughs> Do I need to get chaotic to put like a tune behind him doing that? Or something? Yes. 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 Oh my god. Ooh. There is, is not your cock question. a horse cock. You will <laughs> never hear me say in name. Oh my god. There is at least two penises in this picture. Uh uh YouTube censors, they're not actually penises, they're guns. Please don't kill me. It's penis, penis, oh penis, 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 pen
it's funny because we look at the one on the right and we're like, oh yeah, horse cock. But that horse one penis. in the middle actually does look like, like a penis. Some, like it, it does, looks circumcised. Bell end and everything. It does. Yeah. It's and you know, if you want to really stretch your imagination, and stretch is a very loaded word to use here. Um, I would say oh, the one no. on the far left does kind of look like a vagina a little bit. <laughs> A fat uh, fucking Libya as a gun. Oh, fucking what yeah. do you mean? <laughs> um, gentlemen, you have been hanging around with some odd-looking vaginas. That's, mm. that's all I can mm. say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Listen. the other two, maybe. <laughs> but that one, no, that's a, that's I a mean funny... Like, f- I mean like an alien vagina. You know, not like a normal person <laughs> oh, yeah. one. Like, oh, yeah. uh, you know, like uh, a fun I one. See, I, I, I have like also been one? on bad. I, I have also been on bad track, and I know exactly which one you're talking about. Yeah, oh, see, you what are you seeing, like. those man? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> What's your source? <laughs> what do you know? We don't. I have a video plan <laughs> called the sexiest tier in its tier list, but now my university knows about my channel, so I'm holding off on that because I. <laughs> <laughs> What's number one? Give me that much. <laughs> number one is um, I sent you a picture of it, Tom. It's uh oh, he's it's the neurolictor. Yeah, the neurolictor. <laughs> he just picked the neurolictor. <laughs> Listen, buddy, the neurolictor. She's got that shapely body, and she's got that one. Like, she, look at her calves. Look at the shape of that leg. <laughs> oh, and she just it's got the it pose. Yeah, it's the pose. The arms splayed out, and the tail wrapped around Sadak. God damn it! You're sick of the head, man. <laughs> Fuck. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, she's a she's a classy lady. But, she uh, is. I, that is I, a I lady. So prone, huh? That's not Crow a bitch. That's a, a lady. <laughs> yeah. I hear. I hear you're based and tyrannously pilled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want the Harusi man. I'm, Give me the I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be entirely honest. On one of my Discord servers, I have shared a lot of xenomorph porn. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah. say that completely honestly. Oh, no. I have no, I been openly horny for the Xenomorph for a long time oh, online. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Listen, oh, I, I'm not here to lie to you people. I'm not I'm, here I'm, to I'm, lie. Oh, my God. I'm not HR Geiger to... died, and you thought the porn industry <laughs> lost its greatest superstar. <laughs> it did. It, <laughs> we lost a real one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is this is just truth. Uh, sorry, this is just proof of the fact the Harlequins have seen the Black Library, man. This is all just from one yeah, of those books. This yeah, is- of, of course. <laughs> Cr- Chrono, I'm I, I, I'm strongly considering just drawing your avatar as like fucking Giga Shad uh, <laughs> Shin. This is amazing. Absolutely based. <laughs> have it change. Have Giga it like, get to that point and change. Here's the thing. The funny thing about my avatar is um. A lot of the fan art of it is basically a cat boy version with like, you know, like basically oh, yeah. paw hands and like cat feet and like the little ears, like either ears poking out of the turban or like either like ears wrapped up in the turban, like little pointed triangles of fabric and a tail. But I haven't thing is the channel art was gift from a from a, a really good friend of mine um, for my birthday. So I haven't wanted to change it or like say, oh, can you just update it? Because it was it was a free gift. I'm not going to change that. But Send yeah. it to me. Send it to me after this. After you've had a chance after the episode, and I'll post it on the screen whilst you're talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one, the cat or the um? Okay, both. so do you Send want? Me both. Send me both. Okay, okay, do both, as in like the cat, the one I used for my channel, or the fan art someone made of my character whacking off. Not that one. <laughs> okay, not that one. Okay, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> Kindly, no. Respectfully, no. I was just trying to feel out the room. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's move on to some other goofy models. I can't keep. To, we can't keep on the subject of Tyranids. It's not conducive. This isn't oh no! We move past. Oh Your no! The next one is a Tyranid as well. Hello. Well, 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 well then, I, well then, I can quickly say something I wanted to say about the Tyranids because Please. speaking of HR Geiger and the <laughs> Tyranids, oh no! What I, what I genuinely think is good, or what I'm kind of happy to see, is that they've seemingly taken in this. Uh, you know, H.R. Geiger undertone of sexual design uh, into the Tyranids now. I absolutely agree. Which I generally (laughs) think is uh, cool because it kind of distinguishes them more uh, as opposed to just being bugs. Just big bug monster, yeah. (laughs) They look more like these weird abominations. They don't look natural to the galaxy anymore. And I think that's cool. As opposed to just looking like animals. Exactly. Like there's a wrongness to it. But also a rightness to it, you know what I'm saying? No, but, crunch, um, crunch. <laughs> yee, giddy up, um, <laughs> Desist! Stop it! 
<laughs> Guards, this man has lost his composure. <laughs> Get him out of here. It's me being escorted by armed guards out of the GW headquarters after trying to fuck them yeah. all. Like that scene from fucking oh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl, just fucking after the whole Dream Journal bit. You know the bit I'm talking about? What the fuck? You no, need help seeing that movie. <laughs> yeah. I know oh, exactly man. what you mean. <laughs> no, of course, of course, crew. <laughs> he ruined my dream journal. I yeah, did not. Mr. Electric, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Electric, fuck this guy's ass. <laughs> oh, you goblin. Right, let's move on to the next one. Aaron has put forward, so these are Aaron's suggestions now. Aaron has put forward the second edition or third edition Zoanthrope model. Mm. This, this goofy thing. big brain bug. The, the goofy ass big uh, brain ass bastard. I was going to complain that this one isn't sexy, but I look at it and I'll say uh, there is uh, something that bears mentioning. Um, the it does, very yeah. large. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's little red rocket. It's no! little. Has <laughs> <laughs> someone made it green? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good thing we ain't one of yet. That's what I'm saying. This looks like a Yu Gi Oh uh, card. Oh, That's what this looks like. This looks like a Yu Gi Oh card. No. With the claws out there and the face and the thing. I would see that. I would expect this to be like Yu Gi Oh. Mm. Yeah, so we can say goodbye to the monetization on this video, boy. <laughs> 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 Jokes on I mean, you, my channel it. isn't monetized to begin with. I've lost all no, I've gotten to the sex tier list yet, man. Damn. <laughs> Digging a real deep hole. Oh my god. <laughs> But no, oh, this, this thing just fucking speaks to me, man. It's just fucking stupid looking. It just looks so angry. But you can't tell it's what the fuck you can use. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, ha it has the same thing as the um, uh, the fucking Harlequin Dreadnought thing. His hands are just fucking humongous. <laughs> giant, like, it's, paws, yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> giant fucking murder mittens. The claw... Like, it's not just that the... Uh, the claw, like it has fingers. The claws are the fingers. Yeah, <laughs> this, this yeah. Thing. Uh, it's it's like someone in the third grade or whatever drew this fucking thing. It's like, yeah, these are claws. Look, wee. <laughs> the little like ovals with no like digit shape. Like, there's no joints. It's just no. like knives. It reminds, yeah. it reminds you of the world eaters dude just going, "Fuck! I can't wipe my ass." Just oh, going out of the chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or there was one, it was like a dread, it was like the dreadnought that has like giant long range, like multi lasers for arms. Brother, help me. I need to scratch my testicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I need to get us off Tyranids, guys. This, the Tyran the Tyranidocy is too powerful. We need to get off too this pussy. right now. <laughs> oh, man. So, for our next ones, for our next ones, getting away from you utter gobshites. Uh, in fact, Aaron and Moots kind of both selected this one independently. They both came to the same idea. And I'm going to roll it into one gentleman. It's yeah, because it looks like shit the original uh heavy metal primark models from well, all of them are older than we are each one now, of them is like 30 years old oh yeah i want to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh card looking motherfuckers this is one of them right <laughs> yeah. here yeah <laughs> oh god yeah well, magnus is so cursed look at oh, this fucking, look at his but beard what, but what's he got I under that line jesus <laughs> he looks like gotrek oh yeah hmm. it's like a fucked up uh, gotrek yeah i see that <sighs> It, lo it looks like some kind of old NES. Uh, I pray uh, to God this was before like the name the, Kings, the Crimson King was a thing. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> why is he blue? <laughs> why is he blue? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's he's named after his beard, obviously. There it is. <laughs> Tom is the Crimson oh, King of our modern generation. It's but... <clears throat> oh my God, he's literally me. <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> it looks like him as well, to be fair. Same face. <laughs> Isn't it kind of crazy, though, how the uh, ancient version of Angron literally became, like, the template for the uh, bog-standard Bloodthirster? Yeah. 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 What I want to know is, really were they did. still the sons of the Emperor? Um, like, in this lore, were they still, like, son like the Emperor's sons that were corrupted by the warp? Or were these just, like, random monsters? Because, like, that's the Emperor's son, really? Because like, the lore has it, changed quite a bit. Yeah, mm. I don't think in this period of history when this, this sort of shit came out, that, yeah, I don't that think. had actually been an established fact. In fact, the Horus Heresy as a name was literally just a complete throwaway line that someone said 30 odd years ago. And now we've got dozens of the world's best authors today just trying to take that one throwaway line and <laughs> create the world's biggest fan fiction around it. 
you can see the way it's it uses Primark. The title is says um instead of like Primark of the World Eaters or Primark of the Thousand Suns, it says mm. Demon Primark of Zinch, Primark of Nurgle, a uh, Demon Primark of Slanesh, Demon Primark of Yeah. Horn. As if Primark yeah. was like a categorization of demon or some kind of honorific. Maybe, maybe. I mean, yeah. it, I just remember these aren't actually from someone's going to shoot me. I might be talking complete bollocks, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that these were never for any edition of 40k. I I'm actually so. pretty confident these are from the first edition of Warhammer uh Warhammer 40k Epic. I think so. Mm. I think mm. that's where they're from. I'm Sounds not totally right. sure of that, but I think that's where they're from. Because I just looked at the base size and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. These are epic scale. <laughs> <clears throat> and I know right. that the first edition of Epic was a long, long time ago. Oh, yeah. But looking at the image of like all of them, um, your point about like Angron being the basis for Bloodthirster is literally he just swapped places with the old Bloodthirster. They look like almost opposite of each yeah. other, if you see what I mean. Yeah, Basically. and then when you fast forward to now to see how Angron actually is now, he's he's ended up taking from the bloodthirster he's actually coming back to his roots yeah, yeah. whereas it's, if you try to take a look at fucking magnus magnus from this and how magnus is now there is nothing those two have in Jesus. common at all <laughs> it's very much so time is a flat circle looking at this that design has persisted because one of the shards of magnus does have that big giant eye and oh, does have yeah. that sort of toothy scowl right. they took the piss out of that in tts didn't they <laughs> yeah, but that is a thing. Like one of the shards of Magnus does look like that, and mm. my favorite is Mortarion because he looks like one of the um one of the um the Watchers in the Dark, like those does, little those he? little oh, shits yeah. that um the Dark Angels have. He looks like that, but big. <laughs> well, he's a he's he's a. I think the design choice was to make a literal Grim Reaper with wings. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, while Fulgrim has just gotten bigger with his new model <laughs> from his old version. <laughs> <laughs> When with Fulgrim, you can see the design philosophy of the multiple arms and the sword and the curved yeah. um, blade of lair. And um, oh, like with on, Angron. I gotta, I gotta say, with Fulgrim, real quick, you can look closely. This is quite funny. He's actually wearing a leather jacket. Yeah, he is. He's actually, he's he's actually, no, it's a leather corset. He's actually wearing it, a leather corset. Oh, I was about to say, that is a leather corset. <laughs> oh my Christ. god. Such a Fulgrim thing to do. <laughs> you can see the continuity in terms of the designs because Mortarion does still wield a scythe. He has those rotted wings and he is like a he is a hooded grim reaper figure it's yeah. magnus that has the biggest change out of all of these like the magnus one has yeah. been completely junked i think we can understand why though like i'm not i can't think we can we can fault any of the games workshop designers for that one honestly mm, no. absolutely yeah. can you imagine if they re-released uh magnus in what was it seventh edition and he looked like a giant version of this i mean <laughs> dear god <laughs> I would buy it. No, of course, I'm buying this boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've said this before, but if they release a model for the Demon Primarch Perturabo and it doesn't look like that one piece of art that we all use in the fucking thumbnails, there's going to be riots oh, in the yeah. street. You oh, know yeah, the piece. For sure. You know the one. <laughs> if it doesn't look like that, people are going to be pissed. We actually talked about that particular because that um, that artwork inspired a kitbash and the kitbasher was actually a master green stuff sculptor and made a one-to-one -one recreation of that mask that he yeah, used yeah, it's it. such yeah. an amazing kitbash it's so oh, really cool. good it's so good it's um well i mean that that's i suppose <laughs> the one good thing about uh games workshop stealing or quote-unquote stealing uh, <laughs> ideas where's the line, where's the from, line? Uh, <laughs> okay stealing they're stealing all right <laughs> fine you got it <laughs> stealing uh concepts and ideas from uh, fan creations so i mean if it's popular enough i'm certain we'll see it yeah anyways gentlemen let's talk about our final final model now this one actually came from aaron Hello. Uh, again we're going back to aaron and I honestly don't think it's a goofy model. I fucking love it. It is the original uh, Death Guard Traitor Legion uh, box knot from, yeah. I think, third or, third or fourth edition. I love this And honestly, guy. I think it looks really cool. I, mean, I can see why you thought it was goofy, because it looks a little scuffed. But the great thing about Death Guard is you can't fuck up Death Guard. <laughs> because they're meant to look like crap. Yeah. I was going to say, mm -hmm. I agree with you. This looks awesome. If there's one thing I would say, it again comes down to the head. It's this time, the head is yeah. so big <laughs> that it looks like kind of the opposite. Where you can yeah. tell it's yeah. literally just a head placed there and there's no body underneath it. It's yeah. Just swapping a 1 to 2 to 2 to 1 ratio around. Basically. Yeah. Well, it's not only that. It's also the fact that it's um, 
like completely unbalanced uh, in the way that you know it has this long ass but also spindly and also thick as fuck left arm that just kind of <laughs> hangs off of the base to it's, the side. It's well, very it's, Resident Evil, the arm. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Like um, it, I, I like this. Th- this inspires joy. But yeah. it's. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say that like the good thing about the big arm is that it doesn't look metal. It looks like a disgusting growth thing like some giant yeah. tumor yeah. so like that fits yeah no, absolutely take, take my strong hand <laughs> <laughs> i just noticed there's a fucking head in his left leg yeah so there is oh so there is. i didn't notice that before <laughs> but it's wow. quite funny because you can actually see way back when because this would have been from an eternity ago the uh the, the workings of certain death guard de- design philosophies that still exist today for example the right side of the torso the uh the pestilent incense orbs coming out <laughs> of his his main torso and the obviously the beginnings of that sort of the nurgle bug symbol as well yeah and these are designs yeah. that are still uh front and center in death guard designs today i think that's a really really cool little thing absolutely mm. those are some of my favorite bits from death guard to be fair as well oh, yeah. sort of added random brass shit it's a weird and scuffed model but i think we all appreciate it to to a pretty healthy degree this one's good like because some of these are just absolutely fucking bad but this one's good <laughs> even though it's goofy mm. i'd love to get my hands on one of these boys and paint it up with like max yeah. effort and see what, tell you what that's like. a fuck looking up the uh, harlequin dreadnought prices i bet one of these will be through the roof as well because again, it'll be solid metal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, this is the kind of thing you chuck at someone's window. You know? <laughs> no, without I, I, mean, yeah, I take it, it, I take it I, back. I yeah, think so no. I want that thing back. Like, like, like your story of your brother and that metal bolt he kept in his car. I'm not, sorry, audience, I'm not giving you context <laughs> for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. En- enough said. Uh, 145 is the going. Oh, he's price just googled it. Painted one. Oh, 100. Of, wait, so oh, wait for unpainted. Both painted. Oh, oh painted. Probably, it'll probably be like a third of that price. And 50 quid for one of these. That's not too bad. 159, another painted one. Yeah, so you, pretty- see what, you see what you do is that if you still want to throw this through someone's window, you attach it to a rope so you can <laughs> chuck it and then just... <laughs> And like in just a pull sling? Back. A ball and chain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> you might as well put like a metal swarm lord that on will and kill, kill someone. someone that, that will <laughs> kill someone. <laughs> metal swarm lords are like, we all bitched about <laughs> oh, I stepped on Lego. That's nothing. You have not stepped on a metal swarm lord. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Anyone in the Warhammer 40k community can agree that, if, or f- Warhammer com- community as a whole can uh, attest to the fact that if you ever step on any fucking s- fuck sharp bit of war- plastic Warhammer, metal, plor- whatever, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Lego ain't mm. nothing on it. Yeah, that's going straight through your foot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, gentlemen, can we take a look at drawing this episode to a close? Of course. I mean, me and Chrono have to go and uh, discuss some very in-depth uh, lore and Absolutely, lore yeah. about uh, some uh, Tyrannusi and mm-hmm. uh, some. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that's to do some happening, deep yeah. research. Oh, I just noticed the art you just posted here. Very nice. I want to see who would say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I want to test your professional acumen. <laughs> I'm going to put this on the screen, but I'm going to be censoring an awful lot. <laughs> this is just to the audience. Chrono just sent this in our private podcast channel. And he, so without telling Christ. anyone, he just put it in here to see what would happen. I, am, I approve. Very I'm based. glad. I, I am a man among my equals at this point. I think, I think that's good. Oh, man. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much for coming on chrono it's been an absolute pleasure and we'll look forward to having you on again sometime very very soon you know uh, call me yeah. call me old fashioned but i would say the pleasure was mine thank you for having me this has been a lot of fun uh, i always love coming on here and to I, when i say on here i mean to people's shows or having guests yep. it's been too long <laughs> that i have <laughs> i've been here before you just didn't realize oh of course. but yeah <laughs> this was a lot of fun thank you so much for having me absolutely that's absolutely thank fine you, man. well yeah. thank you everyone no worries, for watching Chief. We really, really appreciate it. It's been so much fun. And uh, yeah, Chrono the Harlequin, live at the Black Library on YouTube. I'll be putting his uh, channel link down below. Please go check that out. Like and subscribe us. Like and subscribe him. Thank you very much, everybody. And we will see you next time. He's shortly dying to the rats. Don't look for him. You won't find him. Show us what, uh, tell us in the comments what models you think are goofy as fuck. Yes. Oh, God, please do. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) 
<clears throat> Anyways, thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Bonsoir, mes chéris. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you got this far, why don't you hit that like, smash the subscribe button, and rock that bell before you check out our other social medias, like Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And if you're feeling extra saucy tonight, why don't you hop on over to our Patreon where you can help steer our content. And finally, join our Discord where you can talk to me and the rest of the gang. Alright, take care now and see you next time. Au revoir.